A young, desperate boy calls an emergency center, telling them that his name is Alex. The woman on the phone informs him that he called 911 and asks what his emergency is. The boy says that he doesn't know how to explain. Angry, the woman tells the boy that that line is exclusive for life-threatening emergencies and tells him to stop pranking them. The boy says that his mother isn't breathing. The woman from the emergency center tells that boy that now she understands. She informs him that her name is Alessandra and asks how old he is. The boy says that he's nine years old and that his birthday was a couple of days ago. The woman asks the boy to check again if his mother isn't breathing. Alex checks on his mother and informs her that she is breathing, but very slowly. Alessandra asks the kid for their address. The boy says that he doesn't know yet because they've moved to that house recently. The woman instructs the boy to go outside and check. The boy says that he doesn't know where the keys are and that the house's entrance is locked. Alessandra asks Alex to check if his mother looks beaten or injured. Alex says that he's going to check. The boy checks and realizes that his mother's arms are bleeding. Alessandra instructs the boy to grab a t-shirt or something and wrap it around his mother's wound. The boy covers his mother's bleeding with a t-shirt. He tells Alessandra that he has done it. Alessandra says that he's a very strong boy. She asks Alex to tell her if there's a park next to their house. The boy confirms, and Alessandra says that it's perfect. Alessandra asks Alex if he can describe the park. The boy says that the only thing he remembers is that the park has a yellow entrance. The woman checks the coordinates on an online map and asks the boy if he has heard about a park called Gonzales Gallo before. The boy says that the name sounds familiar to him. Alessandra says that they're doing well and asks the boy to wait for a minute. Alessandra starts to write her plan on a whiteboard. She asks Alex to go outside and start crying for help. The boy agrees and begs the woman to be quick. The boy goes outside and starts to cry for help. Meanwhile, Alessandra calls a man named Alberto on the phone, saying that she needs his help. Alberto asks what she needs from him. She says that she needs him to investigate a very serious crime of domestic violence and informs him that a nine-year-old kid is in danger. She tells him to head to the park the boy informed her. Alberto tells her that he's going to hurry up to the location she informed him of. Later, she calls Alex and instructs him to grab the phone and go outside. The boy follows the instructions. Alessandra asks if there's something he can tell her about the location. The boy says that it's hard to tell because there are only ordinary houses there. The boy starts to cry and tells them to hurry up because he's worried about his mommy. Alessandra tells Alex to calm down because they're going to find him soon and save his mother. She asks if there's a train station next to his house and the boy confirms. Alessandra circles the coordinates and asks Alex to hold on again. She calls Alberto and informs him that the boy told her that he lives next to a train station. Alberto says that he's already at the park. Alessandra tells him that the train station is south of the park and instructs him to keep searching within the five-mile radius. Alberto says that he's going to have a look. Alessandra then calls Alex again and asks if he can hear her. Alex, crying, says that he's okay, but he thinks his mom stopped breathing. Alessandra tells Alex to relax because she's going to be alright. She instructs him to grab some pieces of paper and a lighter and burn them on the patio. The boy follows Alessandra's instructions and goes outside to burn the pieces of paper. Alessandra tells Alberto that the boy started a fire on the patio so he can follow the smoke. Alberto says that he can't see it yet. 
Alessandra tells him to hurry up because the boy said his mother stopped breathing. Alberto tells Alessandra to ask the boy to give him another signal. Alessandra gets angry with Alberto and tells him to pay attention. Alessandra then calls the boy and asks him to find something red and stick it outside the gate so her assistant can find him. Later, the boy sticks a red fabric wrapped around a stick and starts waving it outside the gate. Alberto tells Alessandra that he spotted the boy's signal and that he's driving to the location. Alberto arrives on the spot and instructs the boy to open the door for him. The boy says that he doesn't have the keys. Alberto grabs his phone and informs Alessandra that the gate is locked. Angry, Alessandra tells him to stop being so incompetent and orders him to knock down the gate immediately. Alberto kicks the gate down. He calls Alessandra and informs her that he managed to rescue the boy and his mother. He informs Alessandra of the location and calls an ambulance to Alex's mother. Alessandra sighs, relieved. Later, Alberto tells the boy that his mother is going to be alright and congratulates him for being a very strong boy. Alessandra arrives and says that she needs to meet the strong boy who saved his woman's life. She hugs him. Later, Alessandra talks about the importance of teaching the children how to properly ask for help. She says that it's very important to always teach the children how to inform the address and to use the emergency number. She says that parents should never underestimate the power of their children and how important it is to care for and love them.